Even back in 1924 with the Bears becoming tenants in 71 and what a home field advantage it has become here in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with Phillip Rivers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Play fake to Gordon, now Rivers. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Melvin Gordon, the two-time pro bowler. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, You've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. Play action now. Rivers. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant you the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Oh, it is the punt team now as this one sent away. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver, and it's second down. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. They run with David Montgomery, the third-round pick from Iowa State. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? On third down, Trubisky. Pressure comes, and Trubisky goes down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Chargers offense getting the football back here. CD, let's return to that Week 6 game against the Steelers. Now, yes, they were at home, but really, as, Al, Mi as Al Michael said they? during the broadcast, <laughs> it was about 80% Steeler fans, a lot of terrible towels in the stadium. But if you look at this team right now at 2-4, and four, injured offensive line, what do we make of them? They've got to figure out another way to fashion offense, and they're hoping with the return of Melvin Gordon go. Go. they can become two-dimensional again, that he can actually run the football and take some of the pressure off of the offensive line and Phillip Rivers throwing it, as well as circling out of the backfield and catching it himself. That has to happen soon because otherwise they're going to be out of this race. The Chargers are on the road now against two top-10 defenses at Tennessee, then at Chicago. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. Ready! Block 15! Right here, right here. Block! 
from the gun. Rivers. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. That sack by Khalil Mack. And they went empty backfield, and because of that, nobody was there to pick up the blitz. And you know that offenses, when they go with the empty backfield, they have different things designed on every play to try to account for things. But what people often forget, defense is audible as well. And a lot of times when they see an empty backfield, they audible right into a blitzing situation. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They are happy to have Hunter Henry back after missing more than a month of the season. And, and when he came back, made his presence felt in the Sunday night or week six, albeit in a losing effort, but he had eight catches, 100 yards, and two touchdowns. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. On the carry, it's Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Trubisky now to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short. They elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short. But you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. A well hit ball there, 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Just a yard on the first down carry. So it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Rivers looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Working out of the gun, Rivers, and caught by Henry. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Here's Ty Long now as he's on to punt for L.A. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about. 
until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. They'll run with a third-year man. This is Tariq Cohen. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. This one into the hands of Burton. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Trubisky finding the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it's Trubisky. He's got Burton here. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Throwing again on second down. Trubisky. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Again, it's Trubisky. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will do the job nicely as that will be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Ready? Round 80! Watch the ship! Watch the ship! They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Gordon, a pro bowler for the second time last season, 885 yards, 10 touchdowns. And that was only in 12 games played a season ago. And he also switched jersey numbers in the offseason from 28 to 25. And 25, that's the number he wore when he was dominating the Big Ten college gridiron for the Badgers of Wisconsin. And he works free. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. Partner, we've seen Melvin Gordon do it a variety of ways running the football. How about that last run? Had a little shake and bake to it there, didn't he? He did. Kind of reminded me of when he was at Wisconsin and what he did in Nebraska his last year there. 408 yards in a single game at that time. That was the NCAA rushing record, wasn't it? Yeah, and then a week later, Samaj P. Ryan broke his record with 427 yards against Kansas. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. It is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Throwing again. Rivers on second and ten. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. He'll get this to Eckler. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. They don't want it. Keep playing. Here's Ty Long now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed, because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes, if you have a game where neither side has scored, Three punts isn't a bad thing, but when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays, but the best ones... They have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. No score after one on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. On second down, Montgomery. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Watch tight, tight ends right. Watch tight, tight ends right. Off the play fake, here's Trubisky, rolling to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Black 15! Let's go, tight end. Let's go right here now. Check, 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 check. Let's get They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon, pushing through the contact. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. We've called a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. To throw his rivers. And now he's taken down. 
field. And Rivers in the end zone. Down to the ground he goes. That results in a safety and two points. So after a scoreless first quarter, we at least finally get some points on the board. But it can't be what either of us expected, can it? No. The safety's not what you expect for the first points of the game. But one of the goose eggs is gone. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. And it's taken in at the 9. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 26. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers, just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers sometimes. Sometimes the defenders knock them off their routes. And you're usually pretty precise. One, two, three, cut, balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. He may try and run for this. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble. And now fourth down. So this was a case of better safe than sorry. All the receivers were locked up, so he had to try and run for it. But he ended up having to slide short of the marker. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And a safety the last go-around. That's how we arrived at this 2-0 score. Let's see if they can respond. Such an oddity, isn't it? See those two points go up on the board. It knowing like that soccer. You, exactly. And knowing that you did it to give those points up for your team. Now they're just looking to get back out on the field and make up for it. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes. They really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to My do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Now on second and 13, Rivers. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. And the big boys up front. They're going to stop him right at the line. Justin Jones there on the stop. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you're talking about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a big-time play there. 
Looking to throw on second down. Trubisky. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. The Bears on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and seven. Here's Trubisky to throw. The screen pass here to Cohen. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard, and it's fourth. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. It was a kicker from that distance, 56, 57 yards. So many things you got to worry about. But I am a little surprised he didn't get it there. Yeah, with the way kickers are nowadays, we're surprised anything under 65 that it doesn't get at least to the crossbar. But remember this. You have to drive it a little bit lower in order to make that distance, and you also have to be worried about the interior rush that they can get their hands on it. So that's why those stronger kickers nowadays who can pop it up in the air and still travel and carry it, that's what you're looking for. Now he's the guy, Mike Williams, that the Chargers took seventh overall a couple of years ago, battled injuries as a rookie, but in full health last year, he caught 43 passes with a knack of really finding the end zone. Ten of those 43 catches went for touchdowns. On second down, it's Gordon. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's got this down to the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Rivers. He's got it to Williams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 16 yards is the pick up there at a first down for L.A. A first red zone opportunity here for the Chargers. First and 10 at the 19. They just got that playoff. Now Rivers. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. To throw again. Rivers. Pass incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target. Third down here. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Rivers. This one caught by Davis. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Now, that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together and watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And this one is right through. And they will jump out in front here with a very unusual scoreline of 3-2. to two. 
So I guess we'll call this a pitcher's duel so far. I think that was a three-run homer there, and it makes it a 3-2 ball game. Yeah, and what inning are we in? It's not the most common of score lines, but it's pretty indicative of the fact that we're in for a tight one. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Tackled there by Rayshon Jenkins. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage with a penalty flag down. This might push him back further. You got it. You got it. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Following the penalty, Montgomery. Give him nine there. They still need six more now on third down. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Trubisky. Now they go screen. It's complete. They'll have a first down past the 40. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Trubisky gives to Cohen. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. On second and nine, Trubisky. And an alley to run. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. <laughs> Following the interception here, Rivers. And that is intercepted by the all-pro safety, Eddie Jackson. The intended receiver there, Allen. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They begin the drive on the ground with Cohen. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. This is Miller, complete. 
And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the shotgun is Trubisky. It's caught. It's Miller. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. 36, 36. Throwing here, Trubisky. Got a man open. It's Wims. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A gain of six there on first. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Jerry Tillery busting through to get him for a loss of six. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. This from 44 yards away. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. So a little late drama in the first half as that kick will give them the lead in the intermission. Isn't this fun the way that this is unfolding? You're exactly right. The late drama, three points go up on the board, and we go into the half with a new leader. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start over. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. This will be fielded at the six. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Check, 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 check. 
Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 11 yards there, first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. Completes it to the tight end, Burton. A gain of six there on first. That's it, baby. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now it's Trubisky, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Now they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Rivers complete. It's Henry. And all the way down to the 40-yard line. A big play there for L.A. 41 yards. What a luxury to have a tight end that can not only catch it, but then can run after the catch like that. What was the old expression back in the good old days that they used to carry pianos yeah. on their backs when they were after they caught the football? Someone would stop and bang out a tune along the way as well. But nowadays, these guys are essentially bulked up wide receivers, and they are a full part of the passing game, and we see a lot of big plays as we just saw there. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. On second and 11 now. Rivers looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 25-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Running on first down, Eckler. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll keep it on the ground. This time it's Gordon. And some room to maneuver. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of the defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were. And you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. Throwing Rivers. 
He completes it to Henry. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Lance Kendricks there to make the grab. And the Chargers are going to retake the lead. And a play fake down near the goal line here worked out well. Anytime you can make them think that you're going to run the ball and go to that play action pass, you see the end result. Usually a touchdown. Is that harder? Is the play fake harder to defend for the defense near the goal line or no? Because there's not as much room to work with. It is harder because down near the goal line, you're thinking much more of a running play, especially if people run out big formations. So it is harder to defend. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. From the 31, Trubisky. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the 8-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Rivers now to throw on first down. It's complete to Williams. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. He'll get this to Eckler. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And once again, he's going to be stopped up behind the line. Second straight play. Shades of the 85 bear defense a little bit. Plays like that, when you see the athleticism of a guy over 300 pounds, you, you forget that they can do that. They're so athletic. Yeah, and I love how it all came together. He won the leverage battle at the line of scrimmage. Then he won the battle with his hands to shed the blocker. And how about the agility to get into the backfield and run him down? And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. They decide against going for it on fourth and one, maybe to the dismay of their offense, but hey, a nice consolation prize down inside the five. Nice consolation prize indeed. So maybe the offense is upset, but they show confidence in their defense by punting it away. You can't block me. You can't block me. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Montgomery. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Now we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. On the return, it's King. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Chargers in good field position to start out first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll try and get the ground game going. Here's Gordon. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. Well, I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. Now Gordon on first down. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix, the former Packer, in on the tackle. 
oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On second and seven, Rivers. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Well, was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm got was just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Right back for Allen. This time he finds him complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Roquan Smith, fresh off a solid rookie campaign, in on the tackle for Chicago. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. On second and nine, Rivers. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Chargers on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and nine. Throwing Rivers. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. It was the veteran Prince of Mukamara that time who had the play covered from the start. Defending an out route is awfully difficult because the best receivers try and sell an inside move before they break to the out, and you have to respect that as a defensive guy because if you let them, what they say, cross your face or get across you in the middle of the field, usually you're beaten on a route, and that's an easier throw for the quarterback. So you ordinarily take a step over to make sure you seal that off. In this case, he was able to not only do that, but react back to the sideline and bat the ball down. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And oh, it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's, that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Trubisky now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Trubisky. He'll find Miller. That's complete. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. 50. 180! 58, right there. Check pass, check pass. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. Gonna let one fly. For, this is caught inside the 15. Might want to remember that third down play, 37 yards. 
That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. Out to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Watch the curl, watch the curl, watch the curl. They'll run for it with Tariq Cohen. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Let's go, D. Now it's Trubisky. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Adam Shaheen there to make the grab. And the Bears have once again taken the lead. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, he tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Phillip Rivers, no stranger to fourth quarter comebacks. He's led the Chargers back to victory 26 times coming into this year. But work to do here if he wants to add another notch to the belt. A good start to the drive. Here's that's caught out on the left side. And out across midfield, down to the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. First down, Chargers. First down, Rivers. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 
Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. That's going to set him back five yards. Second down, Rivers. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. They'll give him a yard on the play, and they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. The Chargers on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and forever. Complete Hunter Henry with the grab. And he'll get it down here to the 43. And they'll get 15, but that won't be nearly enough. It's fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a place to go, though. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. The Bears' offense now getting ready to take over. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you think to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I see, love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Come on, come on baby. Let's see what you got. <laughs> on second down now. It's Montgomery, and they'll get him down here at the 23. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for them. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he's got Miller. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. Trubisky on first down. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. What a catch and one-handed. And I'm starting to lose my awe about the play. And maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them. They get that little extra tackiness to them now. And I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places. They're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Let's get it. 
The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Rivers to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Back to throw. Allen's got it complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. throw deep downfield this is caught inside the 15 and they get this all the way inside Chicago's 10 they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal well, I guess at the very least they got the tackle from keeping him out of the end zone yeah you're looking for that silver lining aren't you but guess what hey, everything changes now after that big play they got a chance to strike he's back to throw he finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab as his guys have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. So now Trubisky and the Bears down 17-13. A minute seven remaining. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. That'll bring up second down. 
He has had a great game defensively. He's been east-west, north-south, everywhere. Yeah, and I love how you describe that because to be a great defender, you have to be able to move up and back, sideline to sideline, and he's been fantastic. Reminds me of a young Charles Davis when he was playing man. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. I thought you were going on the field, but okay, I see you. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Throwing now is Trubisky. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky, and that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it looks like the Chargers are going to win this thing. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? Might get radio silence back. <laughs> They'll run on first down. Gordon. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. On the counter, here's Gordon. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And his kick is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. And from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So the focus now shifts to the Bears, trailing by a touchdown. A little over 30 seconds remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. They'll look to throw. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. 
And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. At the 26-yard line. And you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. Back to throw. That is caught by Cohen. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Soldier Field.